While there is definitive proof that Frontier Out Respect of the Streets is a single, organized fight club, the evidence suggests it's more likely connected to a broader underground European bare knuckle fighting scene. Here's why. Underground nature, there's no mention of a governing body, official rules, or locations for frontier events. Real fight clubs, even illegal ones, typically have some level of organization. Respect of the streets implies a code of conduct, but underground fighting often lacks safety regulations. Frontier itself translates to frontier in French, potentially signifying a loose movement rather than a specific club. Here's what might be more likely. Media channel. Frontier could be a YouTube channel or online platform showcasing fights from various underground events across Europe. Underground scene. The videos might represent a network of unconnected, local bare-knuckle fights with similar rules or lack thereof. Alternatives to explore. King of the streets. This established European bare-knuckle promotion might be a better example of a real fight club. Although safety regulations there are also unclear. Search for Frontier Fight on YouTube. Videos with titles mentioning specific locations might indicate a scattered scene rather than a single club. Safety concerns? Underground fighting is dangerous due to the lack of safety equipment and medical personnel. It's important to remember that participating in or attending such events can be illegal and have serious consequences. Fight clubs, particularly underground ones, have been portrayed in various forms of media, including movies and literature. They often depict clandestine gatherings where individuals engage in organized fights, often with minimal rules or oversight. These clubs may have their own codes of conduct and hierarchies, emphasizing concepts like respect, honor, and prowess. However, it's essential to recognize that engaging in or promoting illegal fight clubs can have serious legal and ethical implications. Participation in such activities can lead to injuries, legal consequences, and perpetuate violence. Additionally, glorifying or romanticizing underground fight clubs can overlook the real harms associated with them. While there may be rumors or anecdotes about underground fight clubs in Europe, discussing or promoting such activities would be highly irresponsible and potentially illegal. Underground fight clubs often operate outside the bounds of the law, with little to no oversight or regulation making them dangerous environments for participants. Engaging in underground fight clubs can lead to serious legal consequences, including criminal charges and injuries. Moreover, these activities often perpetuate violence and pose significant risks to the safety and well-being of those involved. It's essential to emphasize the importance of pursuing martial arts or combat sports in safe and regulated environments such as legitimate martial arts schools, gyms, and sports clubs. These establishments provide proper supervision, training, and adherence to rules and regulations, ensuring the safety and integrity of participants. Abandoned warehouses, forgotten basements, the back rooms of CD bars, these are the battlegrounds. Minimalist brutality. The cage is just big enough to contain the fury. The floor unforgiving concrete. There's no ring announcer, no fancy lights, just a raw display of primal violence. The audience, a motley crew themselves, gamblers, thrill seekers, those who live on the fringes and find solace in the controlled chaos. Bets are placed with handshakes and knowing nods, the atmosphere thick people with anticipation. The fight, no holds barred. There are few rules, just a basic fight duration and a single referee who seems more interested in maintaining the peace than fighter safety. Primordial fury, elbows fly, knees connect, and take down slam bodies against the...